Hey everyone, this is Austin Schwind. Um, just going to go over the antenna base mounting options that I make some accessories for for the Humvee. And honestly, any military vehicle uh, that utilizes this kind of antenna base uh, bolt pattern. Uh, basically, this is a AS3900A VRC. I don't know if the camera is doing a good job of focusing there. But typically the military configuration on the Humvee is it mounts to the Humvee on this bracket. This is the uh, mounting bolt pattern that actually mounts to the truck like you would see here or maybe on that side over there. Um, and then it has this bolt pattern on top of it for mounting the actual antenna base itself. On a, you know, on a slant back truck, for example, you might have where the slant comes that back and there's a um, that mounting bolt pattern on the um, sponson itself uh, I have seen brackets on the side of helmet tops that end up having this bolt pattern on it um, and then typically that antenna will, the antenna will sit right on top of it just like it does on this one right here <clears throat> so what I have done is I have tried to use that as a universal mounting point for um, basically for being able to mount flags and the first real question is uh, what do you want as far as a flag set up using those antenna base options do you want to just have one flag over here or over there do you want to be able to run a flag and the typical whip antenna um, do that on both sides do you want to be able to run four flags do you want to be able to run six flags you know do you just want a heavier duty antenna bracket to run a heavier antenna um that's really the first question you has to you have to ask and then the second question is what do you actually have and i'll get into what i make because the first product that i it's kind of the base of this is the antenna bracket itself that I make. And the original military one is a flimsy aluminum. It can't really hold that much weight, especially if you're going to try to put the stresses of a flag on it. Um, I've seen them actually break just from holding a heavier duty antenna. So the first thing that I make is the antenna bracket itself. And um, as you see, it mounts. Mine is on the right side. You can see on the left side, I um, there were paint pattern for the bolt holes for mounting the antenna bracket. In my case, the holes were already existing on the right side, but they aren't on the left side. So um, if you have the holes already drilled into your aluminum tub, then you can just buy this directly from me and you'll be able to immediately run a flag off of that um, antenna bracket. Um, if you wanted to run a second flag on this one, you could buy this, and this is just the same antenna base bolt pattern. Um, but I put a, it wouldn't have this nut down here, but I put a four inch, kind of like this part right here, section onto it with the uh, thumb screw so that you can have a flag on top of any of these antenna base mounts. Um, so in the case of this bracket, that's how you would run two flags at the same time as you would have this one on there and then um, be able to bolt this directly to the antenna bracket. Now, if you already have an antenna bracket, say you already have this one and you don't want to replace it, then you can also obviously buy this to be able to mount directly to it and run a flag. Um, for, for using any of this original flimsy aluminum, I really recommend only um, low speed flag usage, say like in a parade, because this is really not very strong. Likewise, if you're gonna put a flag onto, directly onto this, like I'll show you later, really only recommend doing that low speed. Um, for reference, I've had mine on this this is a three foot by four foot flag um, I've gone about 50 miles an hour and it hasn't been an issue but that's on the heavy-duty bracket um, the antenna base itself was fine 
Um, but if you already have this, you can just buy this and be able to run a flag directly on it. Again, I recommend only for parade use. If you have this and you have the antenna base mounted to this, and it's the same antenna and has one and a quarter by 12 threads, then you can buy this adapter that screws directly on top of the antenna base. And that's essentially what I have over here. This one is the prototype. Once the first one I made, this is what they'll actually look like. Um, obviously with the thumb screw, but that screws directly on top of the antenna so that you can have a flag coming off of the antenna base. Um, and for the guys that have the whip antennas on the truck and they just want to be able to take the antenna off and slap this on there and run a flag for a parade or, you know, July 4th or, or whatever, um, that's the quick, easy option to do that. It's temporary. It doesn't really change the look of the truck um, during normal operation. And it's just a good um, option to have. So you basically, you can replace the bracket with a heavy duty one that can run the, the flag on either side. Um, I could actually put it on both sides if you wanted. And then, uh, or you could have it on none of the sides just to have this bracket for a heavier duty antenna. And then all the options that we talked about before. Additionally, if you have a slant back with the sponsons and the directly from the auction that sponson is usually uncovered so i make a plate to cover that sponson hole and this is a, a rubber gasket and you put that on top of that hole and then buy the ceiling hardware that comes with it on that page and you can cover up that hole so at least one spot of your humvee doesn't leak um, as far as colors and options there'll be details on all these on the actual product page on my website um, for example this one like I said you can have the uh, the flagpole holder on the left side for passenger side mounting of the bracket or you can have that on the right side for driver side mounting of the bracket or you can have it on both or not at all um, color wise uh, my powder coater is really expensive so typically I just ship in raw steel that seems to be what people buy the most but it can get powder coated in flat black or um, federal standard camo green or federal standard tan. And for the, for the H1 guys um, or people that have more civilian looking trucks, it's also op available in gloss black. So let me know if you have any questions. And um, thank you very much.